Okay, I gotta pass out milk bones to pacify these guys. Where are you at, Tilly? Where's your sister? Oh, I don't know. I guess she don't want to be around. She's over dug in somewhere. But she's here. Welcome to the channel. This is the eighth day of Dogtober. A month where I am donating 50% of my YouTube revenue to Furry Tales Rescue, a local rescue here who rescues dogs, gets them fixed, medicated, vaccinated, and sends them to Minnesota and gets them adopted into great homes. So today we're out here. You can probably already guess what we're going to do by the title. Uh, we're going to clean out this shed today. And if I swing you around this way, you'll notice I got my truck parked right there. Why, why you ask? Let me tell you why. A couple years ago, I cleaned the shed out for the first time. And I'm in there, and I'm organizing. And I come out, and I got these people pilfering through my stuff. And the guy goes, what do you want for this? Uh, what are you talking about? You having a yard sale? No, I ain't having no daggum yard sale. So you got to be careful. So now I'm blocking the view. That's right. So hopefully nobody thinks I have. There is a certain strand of DNA in these type of people. They seek out yard sales, garage sales, basement sales, bake sales, any kind of sales. And you can't get rid of them, man. So we're, we're going to try to block the area off. Uh, let's go in here a little further and take a look. Oh, there it is, guys. But you know what? I don't think it's going to be near as bad as it looks. A lot of these items are big items. Um, what I want to do is clear out everything here. Bring it outside. Now I'm going to go through some things like these totes. They're full of tools. And I'm just going to start organizing it. By the end of this video, I'm going to be pulling that lawnmower in here. I want to get it all nice and organized, as much stuff on the pegboard as I can get. If you're new to my channel, the reason this shed got like this is because I put an addition onto the back of my house. I put a screened-in patio, an upper deck, and a dog apartment. So with construction comes a lot of tools and materials. And here we have it. So I'm going to quit yakking and get to packing. Know what I mean? Let's go. All right, let's start getting this stuff out of here. Now these are my shade screens for my garden. And uh, I believe there's two of them here. Oh. be using this a lot. I don't want that handy. All right, I'm just going to roll them up. Well, why didn't you take the wire off of it? Just going to roll them up, put them in a the garbage bag. They won't get tangled up. There's a hammer, but it ain't the hammer I'm looking for. Whoops, there goes my microphone. Oh, it's going to be one of them days? No. Can't be. Right. It's going to be one of them days. Right. Let's just wad that up. Where's the bottom of it? Oh. 
got it. We fit more crap in there. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's get get let's get going. At this point, I got a lot of the big stuff up. Oh, man, look at that on the floor, all them screws and stuff. I'm going to get the magnet and make it easy. Pick those up. I've got all these coffee cans and these screw containers full of miscellaneous junk. But really, it shouldn't take me that long. Piece of 2 by 12 uh, That'll go back in here. And miscellaneous stuff. Shouldn't take me too long to get it out. And that 4 by 8 sheet. Uh, there and some. I got some particle board there. OSB, whatever. There's a four by eight sheet of plywood, thin plywood back there, and then that saw table. And I gotta find homes for those things. Figure out where I'm gonna put them. There's a lot of lumber in here, a lot of scrap lumber, things I wanted to keep. So now I'm gonna have to make another decision. I apologize for the traffic. There's gonna be a lot of it today. But uh, I tore a bunch of shelves out of here for a particular reason. They were nasty. and uh, But yeah, I'll probably end up putting some more shelves in here. If I get another shed, we'll see uh, how I can get it. Let's just see. Let me just get this stuff up and start putting it back in and organize it. And see how much room we make. That will be the factor. Doody, 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 doody. Well, need a box, man. Where in the earth would I find a box? To be riding ten white horses. There's my stud finder. There's some clippers. Been looking for them. Yes, sir. You get up on in there. Okay. Work smarter, not harder. Oh, she'll be coming around here. You just break it off the magnet. Razor blades, not good. You just live right there, okay? Uh -huh. If it's metal, put it to the metal. Pedal to the metal. Pedal. I don't know what I'm saying. Feet spinning over. Ah, there's that branch I was looking for. At this point, 
I want to say, I don't want to do this anymore. But I got no choice, man. I'm in it. I'm in this to the end. Get in there. All right, I won't bore you guys with this petty stuff because we got work to do. All right, I'll get the rest of this picked up. I got to find a place for that in all these boards. Oh, it's, I, my brain's just not ready this morning, man. Just not. getting there oh still a little bit to go mostly lumber uh, I got my auger I'm gonna try to leave that in here just juggle it around uh, all the lumber I'm putting over in the dog kennel it's got a roof over it it'll stay dry but that's gonna be a project in itself and we're gonna have to do something with that uh, probably another 15 minutes I'll have everything out of here and then I'm gonna start going through things I need to get all my tools out of various totes boxes get them all in one spot I've got a great big toolbox there that's empty so that's right there is gonna save a lot of space that toolbox uh, I don't even want to talk about that one I actually I did go through that and organize it last time but uh, hey there's that pressure cooker that drew loaned me in the canning jars doesn't do me no good now because I already got garden season put up. Uh, then I'm going to just try to start nailing, putting nails in the wall and hanging as much stuff on the walls as I can until I can get some shelves in here. Now this pegboard, I've got a whole bunch of these pegs yet that I can put in here and hang things up. But I want to gather up my tools and because we're going to do something with them later. And I'm looking for my impact sockets. I haven't found them yet. <laughs> there they are that's why i couldn't find them these are what i've been looking for the worst i ah, man i just said that and there they were i swear i did not know they were there cool i got my impact sockets and they're all there because i've never used them all right i'm gonna get back to it be a lot of time lapse on this video uh Oh, but it, the weather is perfect for this. I just hope when it warms up that there is not a nest of mean things in here that want to come get me. I've been looking around. I don't see them. All right, we'll come back when we get somewhere else.
I hate it when you guys do that. Can a man take a break in peace? You know, not everything I do needs to be on YouTube. <sighs> Come on. I'm taking a break. Get out of here. All right, pretty much all the lumber is out. Well, yeah, I didn't see that. Uh, just little odds and ends to get out of here. Sweep it up and begin the organization. Now, I have a laser engraver coming. So my plan is to take a lot of this cedar, a lot of this scrap wood, make little signs, you know, little sayings that women buy and stuff, and put it on Etsy or eBay or whoever I choose. And make a little extra money with that. I've got, so come take a look at this. I got an endless supply of that. <sighs> this is all covered. It'll Most of the cedar, it don't matter if it gets wet. It'll still be good, but I've got live edge stuff. Uh, this board I moved under here. All this stuff. Look at all that cedar. I mean, some of this may get a little wet, but it ain't going to hurt it. That, I can't remember that panel board there that I did my office in. That's going to be coming out of here probably in the next few days. And there's no rain in the forecast. Even if it rained, that's not going to hurt that. Uh, it's up off the ground as well, I think. Yeah, but a lot of scraps. So, the dog kennel is coming in handy, but do I want it to stay like that forever? No. Do I want to waste that wood? No. Oh, look at all that foam. Guys, that means tomorrow I got to put that stuff up in the dog apartment or somewhere. I'm thinking of putting it in the screen patio for insulation and on the ceiling there. So that's probably what will happen with that. They already have insulation, but whatever's left, I can pack into their room somehow. I need to get rid of it all, but I ain't throwing that out. And the carpet, I'm not putting that back in. That is, uh, them long boxes are a part of the screen tight system for the screen, so I don't want to get rid of that. But that's going to go in the loft, I think. In the loft, I don't get up there. I don't mess with that, put anything in there, because the squirrels and the rats keep getting in there. I have not seen any evidence of rats in here for the winter or the summer. So that's good, but it's winter when they come in. Uh, so, yeah, there ain't a lot left to do. That auger, that's going to stay. I'm going to get rid of that speaker. All those old tweeters. I had an old console uh, stereo. I tore them out thinking I was going to do something. I ain't never going to do nothing with that. Never. So I'm going to chunk it. That weed eater. I don't know the story. I'm chunking that too. That's going in the scrap pile. Yeah, that don't work anymore. That's too far gone. I got a good one. Uh, so maybe one day in the future... I'll invite a few people out if they're, they want to help me take the scrap metal in. But I looked over there, and it's full of trees and everything else now. I don't want to deal with that right now. Right now, I need storage. So that's what I'm working on. And getting that wood out of here was a big part of it. Because that was hogging up a lot of room. I mean, I had four by eight sheets there and there. Look at that. That pegboard is totally empty. And I've got this whole box... Of pegs so I'm gonna hang a lot of stuff up and when I end this video I'm pulling in that e-bike and probably the mower probably not the e-bike yet but the mower for sure all right I gotta get back at it all right it's been about two hours now since I started uh, I got the initial pile swept up I still got to get all this out and all that most of that's coming out uh, then I'm going to get my blower in here and blow the floor and the walls down real good. Get it out of here. Get all the dust. And then start the organizing. It probably won't get all organized today, but at least I'll get the stuff that needs organized. Like in a couple of totes. And I can go through it a little bit at a time. But I want to get all the tools where they need to be. So I'm going to go in and eat some lunch. And then when I come back, we're going to continue. But that'll only be a few seconds for you guys. Hey, right, how much you want on this hammer drill? 
the hell are you doing? This ain't no garage sale. I know it ain't no garage sale. You ain't got no garage. It ain't no sale. I'm cleaning my shed out. How much y'all? Get. Get off my property. I told you, man. They come out of the woodwork. Oh, what am I going to do? I swear, man. Turn your back for five minutes. Somebody's pilfering through your stuff. Oh, so you want to move to Arkansas. That's what you got to deal with. Every time you clean something, it's a yard sale. Where do you go? Probably slashing my tire. I don't trust that dude one bit. All right, we're starting to get somewhere. Uh, why do I save half the stuff I save? Pretty much down to just getting this tote, clearing that junk out of the corner. Ah, uh, what's in here? I don't know. Tell you what, we don't even need to carry this out. What I'm doing is I'm going to get everything. I've already swept this up here. I'm going to bring those totes up here because that's where I have tools. And uh, over the next few days, I'm going to be putting those up. So might as well leave this one. And my plan now is I want to leave an aisle where I can get to the pegboards, but I can bring stuff up to about here. That leaves me plenty of room for the mower, my saws, things like that. It's still all going to be crammed up, but hopefully better. Why do I keep it? I ain't going to put my dogs on that. We'll give it away to somebody. Uh, I'm starting to utilize all these little nooks and crannies. And some tarps. Here's another cord. I got all my extension cords crammed up in this corner. Libby, when she was around, she required a lot of extension cords for the winter time. I don't need them all. Of course, when I get to working on stuff, I need them. All right, what do we got in here? Nothing was living behind that. Is that tarp worth? Nope, it's not worth saving, I don't think. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Let's cram it in here. Achoo. I have to have the camera at that angle, guys. The sun is at a point where I move it anywhere else, it doesn't work. Is this microphone working? Yeah. That's some good shade cloth. <sighs> Basically, all I'm trying to do right now is get stuff off the floor. I don't care if it's on the sh packed on the shelves. Where I can come in later and organize, that's cool. So now I'm down to just some junk. Sweep up and start moving it back in. It's a good dowel rod. I don't remember what the heck I bought it for, but... Uh, we ain't gonna throw it out. That's probably my problem. I ain't throwing nothing out. All right, now. Hey man, who put you there? I figured out what this thing was. You, you slide it on the, it's cool. You slide it over the floor like so. You can even get in them nooks there. And it moves all the stuff into a pile. I ain't never. What are they going to think of next? Man. They should invent one that you can put water and soap on and do the same thing. 
and clean the floor instead of having to get on your hands and knees like I do. That's getting hard on me. I'm gonna vent one, put some, put like some old woman's wig on the end of this and then dip it in a bucket. Uh-huh, would you guys buy a product like that? Let me know in the comments. I really don't want to bring the blower in here because it will create a mess. Now I got those panes of glass that I saved from some table. I'm gonna move those. I don't know why I kept them. I probably ain't never gonna do nothing with them. One's already broke. Oh, more wood, good deal. That wood was hogging up a lot of space and that styrofoam. So getting that out of here is gonna make a big difference. It's been a couple years since I've cleaned this. All right. I won't bore you with me uh, pushing this apparatus, man. It's pretty cool. I found it in here, but it didn't have a uh, it had a screw hole in it so that's when i come up with the bright idea because i've been using this when i weed eat brush off my pants that stick fit perfect look at there it's even the same color man it's just one of my lucky days i tell you them rats have been chewing on that rat poison i laid out here oh ah! big board up And finally, here it is. Oh man, looks so much bigger now, don't it? So I was hoping I could do this all in one day, but it ain't gonna be possible. And I ain't gonna put part one and part two on my titles because people, if they see there's two parts, they won't even bother watching the first. That's just how people are. People are have a low, short attention spans anymore. I'm included. So, now I'm going to start bringing everything in, organizing it, and, uh, whoo, man. And when I mean I need to organize, I mean, like, this is part of my electrical. I want to get everything that's electrical in one section. I've got all my electrical stuff here and here. I've got wood finish. I've got sawhorse things. I still haven't built my sawhorses. Uh... Just miscellaneous stuff there. I was looking for this cook stove and it was in the very back with the propane. And I see in the corner, yep, that's got propane in it. I don't know how old that is. I didn't buy it. Should still be good. Propane doesn't go bad. But as you see, I overpurchased pecs, but you can't have enough pecs. And so I still got all this pegboard to hang things up. That is going to make a tremendous difference. Uh, I've got empty toolboxes, empty tool bags, and I can get all my tools organized over the next few days and uh, get on it. Because nothing makes sense right now. I did pick up all like some of my nail guns. I stuck them in here with my saws. I got a drill, a sawzall, of course my auger. That that's got all kinds of good stuff. There's that plumbing strap I was looking for. See? What's this? An empty box of screws, hinges, shelf doohickeys. Uh, I was looking for some of that plastic. Yeah, see, I'm gonna find all this stuff. You're gonna say, Mike, where's your needle nose pliers? I'm gonna go right there. <laughs> There's my clippers. Hmm, <coughs> paintbrush, C clamp, electrical snippers. That's how we're gonna roll. And that, I got that. All right, guys, let me put you on time lapse. Let's start bringing this stuff in.
And everything that's going back in the shed is now in the shed. And that stuff, I'm going to take the mower, the tarp off the mower. I'm going to put the mower in the shed. I'm going to put that tarp over that styrofoam and weight it down real good. And then one day this week, we're going to get rid of it by using it. Uh, as soon as I figure, probably probably the roof of the screen patio. That would be a good spot for that. And yeah, I would get rid of probably all of that. Uh, but let's look at the shed. Still a little, a lot of stuff in there. But, as you can see, plenty of room. Plenty of room. I can access everything. That stuff there, the totes, the baskets, the boxes, that will be gone. That's all getting put on pegboards. That's full of hand tools, uh, various electrical tools, who knows what. Uh, the one on top, in the middle there, the one tote, that's hardly got anything in it. So, And then I will take the empty totes and begin working on like stuff like this organizing it uh, like I got a, a brand new light fixture that I decided not to use in the dog apartment that can go in there for storage this empty box can go in the trash right now I don't need that probably just broke that light didn't I but well that shelf ain't in good shape we can get some more shelving but I still am going to need another building I've got some ideas you know, I have to think about it I'm either going to get a new building or I'm going to get a carport. I got to think of what's more important. So we'll, we'll get it organized and then take a look, see if we can pass on the storage building. I'd rather buy a carport, a lot cheaper, and I could use one. That would also be a nice area to work, do woodworking, pull the vehicle out, set up my saws, do woodworking. I think that might be the wiser choice because I can see when I have a few more things in the house that need to come out. But we can organize those things too. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Just a bunch of stuff, man. I still have not found my other red hammer. That's one a subscriber sent me. Thank you for that. And uh, I have another one I bought. I can't find that either. I'm terrible. A lot of my tools are up in the loft. But uh, I got my weed eaters over here. They're out of the way now. Now I got a nice big spot to pull in my mower. I'll just pull it right there. Won't be in the way. And we'll get that out of the weather because I think I'll probably have one more mow because we had a good rain. If not, I'll pull the battery, bring the battery in the house, charge it, and it'll be fine for the winter. That's how you make a lawnmower battery last. You, uh, you take them in, you charge them up, bring them in the room temperature. They'll last you four or five years that way. They used to, because let me tell you, batteries are getting very, very, very expensive now. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. This job ain't done, but like I said, uh, the, the, I think the next thing that has to get done is just get this uh, styrofoam out of here, because no matter how much weight I put on there, that is like airplane wings, man. If you've seen me buy that in the first place, the video where I put was putting that in, it all blew out of the truck. The truck was parked way up there. It blew all the way back to the woods. And you see the wind is picking up. So I'm gonna get the tarp off the mower. Then I'm gonna cover that uh, stuff with the tarp. It ain't gonna hurt it even if it got wet, but I just don't want it to blow away. So uh, that's going back in the house. That's going in the trash. And that's coming in here. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna have to get this edited and uh, get another video on the other channel thanks for watching like subscribe and uh, watch every video for dogtober 50 percent of the proceeds go to them happy to Welcome home, Bessie Lou Jr.